And we're here at L.A. Radio Studio on the final broadcast. Air, 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 quotes. Air, quotes. air quotes. Air quotes. Air everybody. quotes. you got to do that. Quotes. Yep. Air quotes. Uh, the reason is, and uh, if you're just jumping into the recording now on the uh, YouTube channel of uh, L.A. Radio Studio... Uh, you Can they should. See us? You should rewind. Yes, you should. Re- There's cameras. See, look at the cameras. But are we really visible right yes, now? Yes, we are really visible. Cool. Unless, <laughs> unless you're a gypsy. Well, I am a gypsy, but I still want to be visible. You know. So in the studio with me uh, are uh, Ted Pritchard, Thrasher. Thank you. Thrasher. From uh, the K and A C days here in Southern California, Long mm-hmm. Beach, just the other side of the uh, the Vincent Thomas Bridge. Uh, also with the K and A C history. Pedigree is Gonzo Greg Spillane, who's here. Hi. Can we back up to Filthy Phil? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Filthy Phil. Yeah. Um, the guy that I stole the... Um, uh, what's, what's the You stole something I, from me? I stole something from Phil. It was the... I uh, had nothing. No, 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 no. Did you steal no, his bass No, no. <laughs> no, it was the... Uh, it's good bass. <laughs> It'll come to me, and I will bring it up in the All middle right. of something well, as else. we're working right. around the right. room. Well, okay, yes. so the point is that I worked right. at KNAC. Yeah, well. there's a lot of KNAC people as well. And, and named and, me and uh, Kelly. What? Yeah, I named. I gave you, you the name. Me. Fresh Pie. That's right. And, uh, and and then Kelly Sue Peters is here, who has a connection to KNAC, indirect, but it's a connection just the same. You did you remember, Greg? Squeal of Fortune. Oh, you stole that. I stole Squeal of Fortune, <laughs> America's favorite TV game show. I played Squeal of Fortune with Bob Barker. Oh. No kidding. The yes. real Bob Barker. The real Bob awesome. Barker. Yeah, yes. I want to introduce right. one more person. Then right. I have a uh, epic <laughs> squeal of fortune uh, story to tell. Okay, uh, good. The uh, <laughs> uh, the historic uh, editor in chief of Rip Magazine mm-hmm. and the author of uh, two books, which I'm going to ask you the names of the books here in a second because my brain is uh, okay. is is whacked. We're is Lon Lon Friend <laughs> and uh, your two books uh, having to do with your life in the world of rock and roll. Life on right? Planet Rock, published in. 2006, out of print in 2011, <laughs> forward by Lars Ulrich, which I'll tell a side story. When KNAC went off the air and I was editor of RIP, I called in. Yeah. And <laughs> Lars was in the studio. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 So I was day. on the air. That was the last show. And I was on the phone yeah. that day, too. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah you were. Yep. And the other show, the other book is Sweet Demotion, How an Almost Famous Rock Journalist Lost Everything and Found Himself, oh. Almost. My, my, favorite, <laughs> my favorite lawn story, if, since there's so many KNAC people here, mm. and so maybe we market this, uh, Mike, we to don't market the, the, the KNAC people for uh, L.A. Radio Studio. We don't market it. Okay, all right. <laughs> what I'm saying... Let it happen, for was, God's sake. <laughs> if, if, if there are KNAC people listening, every year we put out a KNAC calendar. And it it started out really, really? lame. Still? Yeah. Well, we used to. Yeah, yeah we used to. Hey, we used to. And then I have the first. I have two copies of and, the first one. And then it got better, and uh-huh. it got better, and it kept getting better because we went to Lawn at Rip Magazine, who had photo credits for all these awesome photos that we would get for the calendar. So Bon Jovi would be February, and usually, well, no, I think Lita Ford was February yeah, yeah. for Valentine's Day, right? Yeah, right. Something like that. So we would we would go to Lawn's office. So Lawn's magazine, Rip Magazine, was run by the hustle. Hustler Publishing Group. Larry, Larry Flint Larry. Publishing. Oh, there's a connect. Okay, okay, right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm the link from Porn to Rock. Yeah. Right. So what would happen is most the the executives, the executives uh, like Phil here and me and Thrasher <laughs> would come to Lon's office to f- look at pictures of rock stars to, to put in the calendar. They would also have photographs of other people people that they were putting in their magazine. So there was two sides to Lon's desk. So Lon, do I have this correct? There would Absolutely. Be a, Steven right. Tyler had to see the Hustler picture room <laughs> exactly. when he came up for the first time. So hey, listen, can I look at some of those layouts before right. they're printed? So there would yeah. be, right, Steven, Steven Tyler and Bon Jovi and everybody would be yes. over here. Yes. And then on the other side of his desk would be like, Wah! <laughs> Amber Lynn. <laughs> Amber Lynn. Yeah. Very naked ladies. Let's just say Taja that. Ray. Right. I love that you guys know these people's names. I have no idea. See, that was, a, that was back in the day. That's because we're older. When, when you used to stars, ask names. When you knew porn stars' names. But anyway, there were two sides to Lon's desk. So there were rock stars over here, and then there was naked ladies over here. And so it was very easy to get distracted. So we were trying to pick out pictures for the calendar 
yet we would still always end up on the wrong side of the bus. <laughs> yes. like, and it would, it would take a long time to... Uh, we should have just gone with the naked chicks. Well, wrong, yeah, probably, wrong, right? Wrong and right are subjective. Yeah, yeah and, that, and that's why, Ilan, no doubt you had a little bowl with like coffee beans in it, so you had a sniff for like a palate cleanser <laughs> in between. So. Right, between no, no. sides of the desk. No, Phil. No? No, no. okay. I, so, had a ch- I had a credenza full of porn. <laughs> and when Glenn Danzig I'm came... I'm impressed you had a credenza. Or John Culloden or any of those guys, they came by, can we... Can we take some of your videotapes. Credenza then, full of porn yeah. is wow. playing at the whiskey tonight, yeah. I believe. You know what? That's so. a great band name. I You're right? Love That's it. what I'm that, saying. I had a credenza. So, so anyway, that's yeah. what we're saying. There's a bunch of people here from the <laughs> local radio community that have gravitated right. to this room, the uh, L.A. radio the studio, vortex. because it is it is local. But um, so many great people have been hosted here, and, yeah. and Lon, you've done a lot of work and talked to a lot of amazing people in this room. Yeah, yeah, this that room, true. this room had some really good. Chad Lita Ford here, Matt Sorm was here, J- uh, Jeff Jefferson Angel, Duff McKagan. He called in the date when Jeff did his soul, his record, the Walking Papers record. This is like just coming off the top of my head, but mm. Luke. Lukather, yeah, mm. who I went to high school with. You went to high school with Steve Lukather? Grand High, yeah. Wow. He was class 75. I was class 74. He's in both my books. Was he a band geek? Dude, I saw Still Life in the gym. That was Luke <laughs> with big frizzy hair. He was 17. Nice. Still Life. How about this, Phil? Radio history, TV yeah. history. Yeah. Still Life was Steve Picaro, uh, um, Lukather, a couple other dudes who came, went on to Session Genius, and Lisa Stratton, whose father... Gil Stratton. Oh. Uh, sports guy on K- Channel 2. K- KCBS. C- That's right. KNXT. KNXT, Channel 2. Yes. I used How to watch that? him growing up. Wow. See? That, and she was the singer of what became Toto later. Wow. And I saw them play in the gymnasium. <laughs> Toto? Yeah, they were called Still Life. So, we're, so we're, essentially yeah. you saw Toto in your high school gymnasium yeah. is and, what you're and, saying. And then <laughs> I went to Valley College when I graduated, and Luke went on the road <laughs> With boss gags, Hold and on. he wow. he wasn't even wow. old enough to drink when they were on the road. He tells great stories. Oh, See, great, and, the best story. Uh, and l- no, I think Lon tells no, good no. stories. Yeah, so I think so I, too, I, right? I I, I, I act with well, this. and Lon told these stories at the L A Radio Studio. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag L A Radio Studio. You, you still won't find it. Right. Oh, we're still speaking to the K N A C peeps out there. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, now, All right. Now, All back right. in uh, what what were the years when uh, Greg, you were not the morning guy, and uh, Thrasher, you yeah. were not the morning guy, and there was a dude in a silly suit who, uh, oh. uh, with claws, who uh, was the morning guy was that it? I replaced. Was oh, he, right. called, he was the badger. He was the not the badger. No. He was the no, another animal. Anybody around the table? Anybody? Anybody? Good, anybody? good, good no. with drawn butter, right? The lobster. 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 Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. Let's not. Okay. Let's not bust on lobster because no. lobster was friends with Ton. And, and a nice and, guy too. A nice guy. Yeah, and he was Ron. hired. And right. I have nothing against him for getting hired for a gig. Right. So uh, just bringing that up. That here's a heavy metal station and a guy okay. in a lobster suit. Right. And it just seems a little. Right. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Ob- I have obtuse, pictures maybe. of that dude in, in a lobster yeah. suit. So in, so the um, the word you asked for a word. Yes. Incongruent. There you go. That's right. the word. Right. But it is an ACDC lyric, isn't it? That, and uh, we have. Lobster, crabs, crayfish. Yes, exactly right. All right. Thank you. There's the the only connection. All these years, we finally solved it. So during that uh, period of time, when is that? 1986, in that area, Uh, at the Santa Monica Civic Auditorium. Okay. uh, The the concert is loudness. Mm. A heavy metal band from Japan. Right. right. Rod- and, Rod- Rodness. 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 And the Rodness. opening act is a new hair metal band called Cinderella. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And so Lobster is uh, <laughs> is hired to bring out Loudness. Did he come out in the suit? Yes, he did. Oh, fucking hell. All right. uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm hired to bring out this new band, Cinderella. I Okay. I right. couldn't be at that show because I think my... Second child was being born, so I think that that's why I missed Featuring that. Featuring Fred Corey on drums from the L.A. band London. Yes, oh, exactly. Right. So who had nothing to do with my second child being born? But I'm just saying. Yeah. So I'm bringing this all. I'm doing a full circle here okay. to when we all started right. the conversation yes. uh, about right. your thievery, Greg. Yes. So I, I get up on stage, and I start to you know doing the thing that uh, you, you normally do. Hello, Santa Monica. Hey, you want 
to hear some rock and roll. Yeah. 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 Are you right. ready for this first band? Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Stop asking me questions. And I, and I look to the <laughs> side of the stage. And they're giving me the hand signal to say stretch. Oh, no. Yeah. The, band, the oh, band's no. not ready. Not did ready. you do Squeal of Fortune? And so what I did is, <laughs> who wants to see Cinderella? And everybody goes, yeah, yeah, get your stupid ass off the stage. Right. I said, are you sure you want to see them? Yeah. yeah. Stop well, asking me questions. All right. Right. <laughs> if you want to see Cinderella, then you're going to have to squeal like a pig. Squeal. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So, what, oh, so whatever. Whatever the capacity is of the Santa Monica Civic. Right. Now right. it's time Close to play to America's 6, 000, favorite TV right? game show, Squeal, squeal of Fortune. fortune. Yep. All right, squeal for the goods. Right. And the entire, it, I never heard an ear-piercing sound like this ever. That Everybody out, squeal. A, and I totally look over squealed. to see if the band's ready. Right. And they're all stat Curry. And the, look at you. Like, no, like you are they're the they're biggest st- a-hole DJ no, ever. They were <laughs> standing there. Their guts were splitting. They were laughing so hard. <laughs> oh, man. And then and then I looked over, and they went, okay, ready? All right, good. You, I said, then I, I didn't bring it right out. I said, that's not loud enough. <laughs> no, you didn't go. You went another round. I went a second round. Damn you! That a boy, Phil. And nice then for job. you. And then you did it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Cinderella. Yeah, mm. ladies and gentlemen. Frequent listeners of Phil Hewlett and Friends, <laughs> you need to know that your grandpa Phil over here yeah. was once known as Filthy Phil, Filthy Phil. and he hosted PH. Squeal. Of fortune, yeah, right. yeah. epic. I have, I, was, I have recordings of that somewhere on cassette. Yes, I hope you do. <laughs> I witnessed that live. I'd come in on Saturday morning to replace you, and yeah. and man, the kids People were squealing. For they good. would call to play Squeal of Fortune, yeah, and Phil wasn't on, and they wouldn't oh, yeah. play. Well, there play. there are CFOs and CMOs and CEOs of companies right now who used to call up and squeal mm-hmm. like pigs, right. right, and would wish I See? wouldn't bring their names up. Now, how silly is that? Now, here's the thing: we we worked at this silly little radio station by the way uh hashtag la radio studio.com yes we're celebrating uh the destruction of this facility That's way to reset okay. guns Thank we're you. celebrating the history of a, of a an historic studio that's and, about to be demolished and historic um moving to new facility um and a bunch of long beach people who used to work at can ac which is a long beach radio station so phil used to work there and do a show and he was filthy phil and he did squeal of fortune so now executives and people like that how amazing is that that we know executives right (laughs) yeah people who do who are grown-ups yeah grown-ups who used to call in and go hey phil and i want iron maiden tickets from you man that's right right yeah that actually happened good tickets how scary is that it's that these people are running yeah. Things uh-huh. the world right? <laughs> Isn't that wrong? Well, well, shouldn't you a get lot. a ding? No, shouldn't I'm they? Just no, I mean, it's world. <laughs> no. It's world cup. Shouldn't you get it's a, a badge yellow, of courage? There should be a yellow card for that. They gr- I, they got successful. The people that grew up reading Rip and listening to KNAC, they did. They got successful. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they did. The people that were promoting, we inspired right. their <laughs> we inspired their acumen, right? And we just. Yeah. We had a moment. Right, right and they right. went on to be successful. Yeah. We were some sort of uh, heavenly conduit. Well, you know, that's the thing that that uh, always amazed me about, you know, that little audience. Or not a little audience, but, you know, first of all, that little radio station, KNC, gave it a voice. Those people didn't have a voice. That's right. Anyway, mm-hmm. yeah. neither did the musicians, for that matter. But the point was, that entire audience was discounted by every major radio station in this city. And across the country, and it wasn't until we started to make noise and it started to get popular that they started to pay attention. Yeah. Nowadays, they act like they were with it all along. Right. Well, you yeah, know what? Right. What, what, uh, what should be right. pointed out and why we continue to talk about this and it isn't just a bunch of old guys sitting around right. reminiscing right. about something. It well, was. Yeah, no, it, no, 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 that happening right now. This little <laughs> radio station was, in fact, a little radio station with a tiny stick, yep. and, but right. a loud voice. But it transcended mere radio station existence. It was the moniker for a generation. We. We sold more KNAC t-shirts in Tokyo than we did in Los Angeles. (laughs)